Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny, uh, episode, I guess it's 548, let me see, is it, I gotta, I gotta, yeah, five, 548, we're, we're doing it, it's another, uh, day, another dollar, of, uh, yeah, just here chilling, uh, I slept all day like a lazy piece of shit, cause that's, uh, <laughs> what you do when you're, uh, depressed and fat and lazy but um no other than that just chill uh been a good day got to sleep and you know chill uh just here staying up late like i do uh like a, <laughs> but i admit to my uh sickness so i i know that i'm a sick man but whatever we'll uh get through the week uh more of work uh i know i applied some other job they're supposed to call me hopefully in a day or two. It says under consideration, so it must be good if it says under consideration. Even though last time it said under consideration, and I for weeks and I emailed them back and they were like, "Oh no, you didn't get the job. Uh, sorry, we didn't. We just didn't take off under consideration." They're like, "Oh, that's cool. Thanks. Thank you for um, leaving me hopeful." Uh, but no, th that's fine. We'll see uh always uh always we'll try again tomorrow there's always time what is it, the there's always time for one last kiss that's from the mask when dorian has the mask on the evil dude there's always time for one last kiss uh i've, I've come to get my back pay or should i say payback uh, good movie, The Mask. It's great as a kid and great as an adult. One of those, like Ace Ventura also. Great great as a kid and even better as an adult. Let's look at the news here. Um, Richard Simmons clarifies that he's not dying after cryptic social media posts. <laughs> I'm glad he's saying he's not dying, but when you say you're not dying, that's kind of... So, uh, I love Richard Simmons. Fitness guru Richard Simmons shared a cryptic post Monday saying, I am dot, 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 dying, while encouraging people to eat healthy and hug their loved ones. He later clarified saying that he is not dying and apologizing for any confusion. Uh, the 75-year-old fitness coach wrote on Facebook at X Monday morning. He had some news. Please don't be sad. I am dot, 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 dying. He said in the post, oh, I can see your face now. The truth is we are all dying. Every day we live, we are getting closer to our death. He continued, why am I telling you this? Because I want you to enjoy your life to the fullest every single day. Get up in the morning and look at the sky, count your blessings, and enjoy. Simmons then encourages followers to start the day with a healthy meal and exercise. There's something else very important that you must do. Tell the ones that you love that you love them. Hug those people and children who you really care for. A big hug really goes a long way. He had, if you have time, I want you to listen to a terrific song. It is by Tim McGraw. It is called Live Like You Were Dying. Live today and don't forget to pray. He concluded. Uh, yeah, he, he really sounds like he's, like, you know, realizing he's mortal. And he's, you know, we all have that, that, that phase, though, where, like, oh, shit, we're dying. You know what I mean? And, uh, I mean, he's 75 year, years old, and then I don't know if he's gay. I'm pretty sure he's gay, but he's just there kind of, like, alone, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I get it. We all have our, our bad days on, like, our mortality. We're human, you know? But it's good that he turned it into a, a positive post, even though he may be really feeling down right now. Uh, but, yeah, no, Richard Simmons is great. I have nothing against him. I think he's... Everything he's done is um, positive. He's always done positive energy. Delirious. I, I mean, I don't think he's going to heaven because, you know, like being gay and all that. But he's a good man. I'll say that, you know, like we're, I don't think all any of us are going to heaven except maybe like uh, what's his name? Uh, Mr. Rogers. And then like maybe Bob Ross, you know, because he beats the devil out of that paintbrush or whatever beats the evil out of it but yeah i mean you know um i hope he's all right i mean he's old he, he does what he can to be fit i hope he's all right um 
But on the other side of the news, in the other side of the world, Putin warns of full-scale World War III in victory speech. And I don't know how, how um, like, uh, accurate this is, because I know the news media likes to take things very much out of context. But who knows, maybe he just just, just did straight up say, say you know what I mean? Uh, after the Kremlin said he had won nearly 88% of the vote, the Russian president addressed a press conference in which he took aim at those who want to intimidate us. He said such a move has not worked now and will not work in the future, never. Uh, but I have already said it is clear to everyone that it will be one step away from a full-scale third world war. I think hardly anyone is interested in this. I mean, well, yeah, I, I would hope so, unless you're America and we're ready to fucking go to war with all the money we put into defenses and all the, you know, uh, fucking bases we have everywhere in the world uh, that we, you know, try to justify by spending money and sending our troops there or sending uh, weapons there and shit like that. So I think we're ready to go to war. I think we want to. As far as uh, the U.S. is concerned, it's where all our money's at. Um, but, you know, hopefully it doesn't go nuclear. That wouldn't be good. Um, but a regular war, a world war, I mean, who knows? Maybe we need a third one, you know? Uh, fucking Russia versus the U.S. And then U.S. would be like, oh, we need help from Ukraine and all that. And they're going to be all pussies like, eh, we got our own war. And then. Israel and Gaza got their own thing going, you know. Uh, that's probably not going to end until one side is completely uh, demolished, you know, which is bad. But here we are, the U.S. trying to play both sides, and that's not good. That's I don't think that's good, but whatever. It, it it's all depends on your, uh, you know, someone's the villain in the story, someone's the hero in the story. So we'll see how that goes. But Putin... I mean, who knows? Like, if, if Trump wins, we might go into our own civil war. Even if Biden wins, we might go into our own civil war. That's why I think RFK should win, just to confuse everyone and be like, you know what, let's give this a shot. RFK, <laughs> RFK sounds cool. I will help us win the war. Uh, I got two words for you. Suck it. Okay, that's my RFK doing Kane from WWF. Um, moving on to, uh, YouTube, YouTube says it will require creators to label realistic AI content. Uh, YouTube announced it will now require users to indicate whether the videos they upload depict altered or synthetic media, including artificial intelligence generated content for videos related to sensitive topics like health news, elections, or finance. YouTube said it will put a label on the video itself. I don't know, man. YouTube just... They, they keep trying to change their terms of services like every other fucking day, dude. And it's just like, dude, just like let people put shit out and then let, you know, I, I mean, I get you don't want like murder death videos like on your site. That's cool. Right. But the way like your copyright system works, the way your algorithm works, the way all this other shit works, that's like uh, electronically uh, fucking taken care of instead of by a human being. It makes no sense. And even the parts that are controlled by the human being, that's all like their perspective. So if it's a video that offends them, of course, they're going to label it as offensive content, even though it might not even offend them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. YouTube's just all wacky. Like, and I'm just uh, bitter about YouTube because, you know, I'm demonetized and they I had re-put an application and they uh, didn't accept it. But why? You know? Like, because they're pieces of shits, but whatever. That's YouTube. Uh, some of us have to bend the knee to the God that is uh, that. Uh, I do and I don't. I don't really. I care and I don't. You know what I mean? Like, uh, there's other alternatives. Of course, they're not as big, but you know, I'll still watch it. <laughs> but labeling, uh, you know, realistic AI content. It's like, dude, no, you know, like that's like having to label uh drawings as animated i don't know dude. It, it doesn't make sense like just let it be you know uh there are more important things to worry about i think in the world 
Uh, but speaking of AI content, and lastly here on the news, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang announces new AI chips. We need bigger GPUs. So here he is announcing these chips. And I see these chips, and this looks like a lot like from the movie Terminator when they like showed the chips inside of Skynet and then the brain and fucking the Terminator, you know? Like this is getting this shit's getting real, like with the AI and how powerful it is and how exponentially fucking smarter these things are getting and how smaller and like you know, our cell phones is powerful to fly to the moon and computer like that would have fit like in a whole house you know it's kind of scary i mean it's convenient because i know i use ai to fucking uh, answer a lot of school stuff but it's it's scary to how how convenient it is because we're getting to the point where we're gonna super rely on it where when it doesn't help us out or it's or it's literally against us we're we're no we're nothing we're defenseless you know what i mean uh i don't know we'll see we'll see how this goes but yeah the the way this is depicting it seems just like terminator skynet we all know how that ends and how it keeps rebooting and now they're probably not going to make any more terminator movies which sucks because arnold's still alive you might as well do it while he's still kicking but i don't know uh it's cool i want to see the advancement of ai and all that i want to be able to use that sora movie making bullshit to make funny ass videos i'm not gonna fucking make uh, nefarious shit you know i just want to make some funny stuff <laughs> but not i don't want to um bring down a whole nation with it or uh you know um ruin a a fucking celebrity's reputation with it like well i, I don't know I, I don't see the point in that i just want to make like you know funny ass fiction films and uh you know old stories i don't know we'll see We'll, we'll, we'll play this uh day to day year by year as far as uh ai and all that goes but i don't know what do y'all think of ai what do y'all think of richard simmons rest in peace uh no he's still alive he's still alive uh he he's the one person that could help us uh in this new world war if he just had a talk with mr putin and uh tell him to give give him a hug and to hug your loved ones and uh stop the bombs fall and have system of a down put out a new album so they can uh you know keep the war from happening that's what they need to do system of a down just needs to put out a new album that'll stop everything what do you expect us to go when the bombs fall ah, 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 ah. where do you expect us to go when the bombs fall ah. anyways that's a good album and that's all funny, guys. I want to thank you for listening to the podcast. That's all funny. Say the morning where podcasts are available. Just search that's all funny. Got a podcast with my buddy Gabe called That's All Cafe where we talk about wrestling. Uh, that comes out Mondays at 11 a.m. Everywhere podcasts are available. Just search that's all Cafe. See both of those on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. We have uh, other I have other videos there, you know, the podcast, gaming videos, stuff like that. Do a sh- live show with the wonderful mint salad called Tits and Ariolos that comes on Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern. Talk about a movie, play a little game. It's fun. It's all fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's great. Be great. Um, if you want to check out the Patreon, uh, support the podcast, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. We've got early episodes, deleted episodes, bonus episodes, uh, ad free episodes. Um, you know, stuff like that. Or if you want to buy any merch for the podcast, check out the website www.retrohorrorinc.com. We got stickers, we got prints, we got t shirts. We just want to commission some great art from a great artist at Retro Horror Inc. on Instagram, uh, the Bret Hart of Graphic Art. I want to thank uh, my Patreon subscribers. Thanks to YouTube, like, subscribes, and all that good stuff. Thank you to listeners. Uh, thank you to everyone else. Take care. Be 